Hey, so this is um, an RS Bigodi Gotway. Same to Bigodi, so I'm going to say Bigodi. Uh, RS um, High Torque. So we're going to open her up. It's already been opened because they uh, uh, E Riders does a, does a check on the whole wheel. <laughs> And everything seems to have passed. So, yep. Anyway, and with these, he's um, he's peeled them back because apparently the adhesive gets stuck to this piece of sticker thing. So it gets stuck on there and it comes off with it. So, you can't see where he's pu pulled it off for me. But yeah, what you want to see is that. So the Hence of still on on the rubber, and that's that's when you can peel it off. So that's a good handy tip, just in case you get one. Thank you. That's there, and we got the usual use uh, manual, which is uh, just one of those normal manuals that has every other wheel on it. Charger. Yep, comes with a 3 amp charger, which looks pretty beefy. Yeah, yeah. and here's the uh, unicycle I talker. That's good. Hee <laughs> hee. So, this one, um, this isn't a one with a screen. It's just the um, the one before they came out with the screen, which is fine. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at these. Oh, that's, that's really it nice. Has it out of the way for a sec. That's yeah. pretty cool, though, eh? Yeah. <laughs> pretty beefy pedals. I also have a button right there too. Quite interesting pedals. All right. And um, yeah, Say two charge ports. It's kind of leaning forward, so it's not gonna. All the water will run away. If it does get water, it'll run down and away from the plugs, which is good. And this is kind of funny. Yeah, that's that's good. All right. Same one. So let's see if we can turn her on. Just want to look at it. So hold it down. <whistles> yep. So Steve, actually, the guys from. Um, e riders, they what they do is they they make sure the wheel's working, so that's why it's going right now. Because he's he's um, I've picked it up from the shop and he's um, pulled it apart and checked everything inside to make sure all the wires are in, in there and everything like that, which is good. That's what I want. I don't want to have a wheel that's not going to work properly, like it could be a problem with it and a crash or something like that. Just want to check that wheel when it spins to make sure it's uh, pretty aligned. From the rim, it's good. The wheel's a little bit wobbly, but that's good. And yeah, that's the RS19 High Torque. Quite awesome lights. Apparently, you cycle through the lights, you just um, single tap and then it turn it off and that's when that cycles to the next light. So do it again, turn the light on again and now that's the next light. That's your white and red. 
got a blue, Whoa. it's got a blue LED in the middle there. It's quite interesting. Wait, look at me. I can see on my trailer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to the trolley being in the middle on at the rear there. I've got the S18 and the um, uh, the 16X, so the handles are always in the middle, so it's quite quite different to have it there. I mean, it's just a bit of getting used to, obviously. But it, it is quite strange, it doesn't feel the best, like, especially with the van and the shop. So yeah, that's the um, wheel. I suppose I can take it for a test ride. Yeah, your one's uh, this is M10 3. Yep. Yeah. I have this. Oh, yeah, that feels quite interesting. This mat was just on the right on the mat. So, first things up, I'll probably put some side pads on it and uh, make those, those grip ones up here. Wherever they go. But yeah. That's the uh that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna take it for a test ride. It actually feels quite soft. The right one. Get up right in the mud. Oh, went in the mud. So yeah, that's the uh It's different. I think it's on soft mode because it's kind of really quite a lot different to your S18 or 16X. Yeah, I don't have pads on it yet, so I'll put some pads on and have a proper test.